Welcome back to Rivlow Acres. I'm Ashley and I'm sitting in our garden in progress. So this is the third year that we have made a new garden spot. Final year we are making a new garden spot. So we've got these raised beds. I've talked about these a little bit maybe. Maybe not. Regardless. The wood has been salvaged from pallets um, and we're filling them so that I can plant. It is, I don't even know what day it is, like June 8th maybe. So I'm behind, I'm planting a little bit. It is what it is. I'm not worried. If I lose out on a, few, a little bit of crop, at least I'm growing something, right? So I wanted to show what I built. So we've had, obviously, we've got quite a few animals. So we have compost. And last year you saw us um, sifting compost through a quarter inch screen put over the wheelbarrow. It worked. Sucked. My elbow hurt. I wasn't doing it again. So I started looking on YouTube and I've seen other people have different compost trommels and um, I don't buy things. I make things. So I made a compost sifting trommel. So I started by making it out of some rims off of an old dirt bike that we had. It didn't work very well, so I resorted to the good old plastic drum. And I'll put some clips in of me making it. I've tweaked a lot of things. I ran, I've ran it and we've filled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beds using it. Uh, I've got one more bed to go. I will show you and talk about it as I do that so that um, I can show you what I've learned while using it. Uh, the only thing that I would change would probably be um, having a hopper on one end and that's kind of in the works. I just need to figure out how to make that happen. So uh, I'll talk to you about uh, my trommel and show you how I move it, set it up and make it run. I honestly just used our um, big level and marked off and cut out using the sawzall. I like having this piece on there. I actually would maybe leave an actual like plus in the future. It helps kick out the big stuff. It helps keep things from falling out right away. actually running this off of our lawn tractor tire so we had these are salvaged from a factory there's actually two of them we have them zip tied together it's working there's not a whole bunch of tension on there or nothing so. all right I'm gonna start disassembling because I need to move to the next bed and then I'll talk to you about what I'm doing All right, so this is the base to the trommel, and I could put this on stilts if I want. I've got it laying over my raised beds right now. I could put this on top of a wagon. I could put this on anything, the bucket to the tractor. I could put it in my wheelbarrow and run it. You can run it by hand, or I could power it with our tractor. So I've got two different size casters. So I've got these which are a hard plastic i i'm not sure these may have came from uh harbor freight so then these ones are actually like a, a rubber or a poly material and i know for sure these were salvaged and these are a little a little bit bigger but they stand a little higher which works because 
this drum has this groove and that's where that wheel rides and it gives it just enough of an angle so that when you're running it everything works down the trommel and out the end so I've just got this roughly mounted everything is uh, mounted with screws so I can just take them off and relocate or move if I need to I've got this board to act as a block for now it works kind of but everything's changeable everything's workable we, we uh, learn as we go make it happen so now I'm just gonna move uh, this tractor over one and get everything set up so that we can rock and roll <laughs> 